I just wanted to give you a little view of what it's like to take a bus from my house into Queenstown, New Zealand. It's only a four minute bus ride and I only had to cut out about 10 seconds of boring bush views because almost the entire thing is the lake. So starting from here, you get a panorama from right to left pretty quickly as soon as you get on the bus. Out there in the distance is the Remarkables mountain range. That is uh, the most iconic range in Queenstown. And the whole way down, you get a really nice sweeping view of the beautiful blue water and mountains all around it. We are headed into Queenstown out on the left. And by the time this video is over, we will be walking at lakefront level. And this is about the only part of the road where it gets real steep and passes in front of some pine trees before sweeping around and seeing a very nice view in the distance there. So we started about halfway up the mountain and we will end up at water level pretty quickly. Now here on the right we are stopping for a bus stop and that is a hotel across the street. So that um, there's only about four hotels in the neighborhood and they're all nestled kind of in between the houses and places where we don't really get bothered by the tourists coming in and out. So here we're stopping to pick up some people and you'll see they just walk right on because the bus is currently free. Ever since COVID happened, it went down from being $2 um, per ride to just being completely free. So not only is this what I think is the most beautiful public bus ride in the entire world, it's also currently a completely free bus ride. So looking out the front, you can see a nice view. We're getting pretty close down to the water now and panning back the other way, you can see from right to left, there are three different arms of the lake. Um, and out there is a parasailer with the yellow parachute and the red boat and a, another tour boat there. So that's a real popular area for tour boats to hang out because you can go three different directions there, left, center, and right from that center area. Uh, coming up here, you can see there's an RV in the parking lot because this is a really popular thing to do in New Zealand is drive a camper van or RV around and that is a beautiful lookout point for parking your car and getting out and walking along the lake. We're now passing through the Lake Esplanade, which is just the waterfront level um, leading into Queenstown and this all hotels on the other side of the street. So all the hotels on this road look over into the beautiful view across the street. And you'll see there's cars parked in every single parking space. There's not a single free spot on this entire road, which is how it always was, except during COVID lockdown. The street was completely empty of all cars. And that's because of course the hotels were closed for lockdown. And it was really sad to see that there was just nobody parked in a place that is always, as you can see now again, full of cars. You normally have to drive up and down that street like four times before you get lucky and find a spot. There's also picnic benches and grills and stuff along the um, esplanade there, so you can really fully enjoy that lakefront view. Here with the boats, we are coming up on the edge of town with the tourist boat docks there, and that red and white one being the second largest boat on the lake, and the one behind it, the white one, is the third largest boat on the lake. We will soon see the largest boat, which just went behind the building, but this building marks the edge of the downtown area. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk off the bus and show you just how quickly you get from my house, four minute bus ride, and then literally just walk across the street and you're right on the waterfront in the heart of town. So interesting thing about crossing the street is this crosswalk with the black and white striped pole with the orange dot on top is a special kind of crosswalk where cars have to stop for pedestrians. So you see they're doing that on both sides of the road. They saw us and stopped. Tourists don't necessarily know that law, so you still have to look both ways before crossing the street, especially in the super touristy town of Queenstown, New Zealand. So all I did is walk across the street and through this kind of cool business area and we are right on the water. And there was a guy talking while he's opening up his bar there, kind of loud. But um, we're walking up and gonna show you the nice views from here and also just how amazing the water is looking on this day. So ducks like to hang out down there and that water is crystal clear, you see straight to the bottom and it's just a really calm water day. Over here is the TSS Ernslaw steamship, which 
is a really historic boat. It's the last coal-powered steamship in the Southern Hemisphere. So we'll take a closer look at that in a minute as I walk closer. You see there's some tables laid out here and chairs stacked up. This is for a restaurant's outdoor dining area and they are open for dinner, but it wasn't dinner yet, so it's all piled up. Um, but you can see this whole dock area is um, where restaurants put tables out and they all get a beautiful lakefront view. The Ernstlaw there is, uh, you see, launched in 1912. It's the same year as the Titanic. And the water on this day is just absolutely amazing. But because it's coal powered, that steamship literally has people in the bottom engine room shoveling coal into the boilers. So it looks exactly like the engine scene in the Titanic movie. Um, so this ship's 108 years old and it was out of the water for COVID lockdown and they've since decorated it up with lights. You see the black smoke coming out of the steamship, or uh, the smokestack there is because it's coal powered. They say it's clean coal though, so supposedly it doesn't pollute as bad as coal used to. And this side over here is a um, bunch of businesses and a casino on top, so there are restaurants that all have amazing lakefront views, especially when the ship's not docked there. It uh, goes out way out there in the distance to that peak is where the ship goes and takes people to a cheap station. And uh, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it.